Okay, are you ready for this? This is my pantry. Okay. It is stuffed full from top to bottom. Stuff in the floor. Freezer. Two garbage cans. Water, bottled water. There's my essential oils. And that's the only thing that's kind of straightened up in here. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, canned goods all along. Um, here's some old stuff that I, I don't eat anymore, but I kept it in case of the uh, SHTF. So maybe I'll get rid of that. Uh, tea bags and things, stuff that doesn't belong. Oh, that's some coffee, my honey. Anyway, most of this, a lot, the two bottom shelves here and here, all of that is stuff that could be put somewhere else besides my food pantry. Um, and then I've got uh, appliances. A lot of this in the floor needs to go somewhere else. Gardening stuff. There's a lot of gardening stuff in this area that really needs to be out in the shed instead of in my food pantry. I've got several jugs, various jugs of water and uh, vinegar. Some of that can stay, but it could be put back further if I didn't have all this junk in the way. And a lot of it, like I said, is stuff that probably needs to go elsewhere, to the shed or something. I also have my medicine, and a lot of that is um, old medicine that we really don't even use anymore. A lot of that needs to go. Um, some of this is at least hanging on the wall, so that's not so bad. And uh, the brooms and bumps are in the corner there. I keep the cat food and dog food right here in this area. So as you can see, I don't know if I can show to realize there. That is the only space that I get to walk into my pantry at is right there. So one thing that we have decided to do as a solution is get the freezer out of here. We plan to get the freezer out and put it in the shed. So that would help a whole lot. Then we could put maybe a couple of more shelves under there. We've just junked it up by shoving stuff in there because I don't have enough room. And I really would like to get more canned goods in. Now I do have more canned goods, but they are in the spare bedroom in a, um, in a bookshelf in the spare bedroom. So that's what we're working on. Rachel from... Um, Spin Smart Live Happy has inspired me to declutter and uh, it worked on my closet. I have a video, um, I think it was my first Saturday vlog and that was when um, I first started watching Rachel and she had inspired me to do that. And now it's several months later, probably six to eight months later, I planned on tackling this pantry and never did so it's time and I appreciate Rachel for encouraging me and inspiring me to do that so uh, I'm gonna get busy and start showing you what we're gonna do the reason I have two garbage cans in here is because I have one for uh, trash we don't burn and then one for burn for trash we burn we live way out in the country and we burn our paper and then this can is for other stuff. If I didn't have the freezer in here, I could move those back up in there out of the way. So another thing that uh, Rachel talks about and that is so true, especially in this mess of a pantry, is that um, when it's this cluttered, you can't find things. So you don't really know what you have sometimes. I really have to dig around in here. And for me, I can't reach the top shelf so like behind this line here there is stuff over in the back that I can't even reach 
and my stool broke so I don't even have a stool to climb up there and reach that stuff so another thing I need to do is buy another stool for my pantry because right now I can't even reach up there and see what's back there and then some of this other clutter there's stuff all back in here I mean way back in here it goes way back to there so like there's baggies empty baggies back there um, I mean it's deep it goes back deep and there's things in there that I probably don't even realize I have so maybe I'm going and buying more stuff when I've already got stuff in there because I can't uh, find it all I know up in that back corner there's stuff up in that back corner back there and in that corner there may be things up there that have expired that's not even good anymore because they got pushed back and I don't even know I have them. And so that's all wasteful and, um, and unnecessary. And uh, so I really got to get this cleaned up, find out what I have, get things labeled properly and uh and get things uh get i need a new stool so i can get up there and then get things kind of lined up to where the things i need most are in the front and the things i hardly use are in the back but i need to know what those things are maybe i need to make a so list now it's cleanup day this is about uh, a week later after i showed the original video of my pantry and what all i'm gonna do to it um, about a week later before I got to get started on it, that's today. So I'm getting started on it by cleaning out a little bit of this corner here that I showed you in the previous uh, section. Um, and um, what I want to show, what I want to show you is what I found down there in that corner. And this is a good example of what I was talking about earlier. Um, what I was talking about finding things that you uh, forgot you had and going and buying more. Good example right here. I just went and bought several more of these because I was hatching out some uh, chicks and some quail in the uh, incubator and I went and bought several more of these and I just found one down there. So there you go. There's a good example of having some stuff hid away in all this when you get clutter like I have you get stuff hidden away that you forgot you had you go spend more money buying new ones and uh, because you couldn't find the old ones and I'm sure I'm gonna find plenty more stuff just Another like thing that. I found in that same little corner is uh, my uh, trowel um, my little digger I call them diggers um, this was one of my favorite ones. I haven't had it for a while and I've been using another one that I don't like as well. This was my favorite. You can tell I've had it for years. I really like it because it's got the measurement on it and it's very sturdy. I'm glad I found that. I'll be using that in the spring. Okay, here's another thing. <clears throat> I have, I save my baggies. And I had just been throwing them up in here. I had a big wad of them up in here. And um, so here's my solution. And what I want to know is, do you have a better solution? What do you do with your baggies that you save? I stuck them all in one bag. And uh, that isn't holding, uh, I think it's holding about 20 little bags. But uh, I may need a gallon bag to hold more. But for now, these fit in a, a smaller bag, a, a pint-sized bag. So that's what I've got. I'm going to stick it in there. But I'm going to stick it up to the side like that. In the comments, uh, let me know what you do with okay, your bag. so we got that freezer out. And I want to show you what has happened that is one of those uh, everything happens for a reason good thing that we have decided to clean this up and get that freezer out because i don't know if you can tell i haven't cleaned it up good yet it's really wet right through there and that tile maybe about three tiles there are going to have to come out and be uh, uh floor put in and be fixed it is sagging and it's gotten wet underneath that freezer 
Of course, Lee blames it on me. Um, he said that he thought it was condensation where I had all this stuff stacked up around that freezer and the heat underneath was causing condensation right there. And it's wet and even sinking in. Anyway, so it's a really good thing that we are doing this so that we can get that floor fixed. You can see I've got most all of it cleaned up. I cleaned up on that medicine some and got rid of a few things that we don't use. I kept a few things that he uses sometimes and my vitamins. Uh, right here I've got uh, baking type stuff, cooking um uh, uh, canning and baking type stuff that I don't use very often and um, so I've kind of got it organized and looking better and now I just have to get this cleaned up and he's got to replace a little bit of that floor so Lee's tearing that floor out and it has it is actually spread way up here so we're having to take a little more out than I thought so we're just gonna rip all that out and redo that floor so Lee got the new floor in he's got a little trim work to do and then we'll get everything put back in and I will have a beautiful new pantry with new floor <laughs> so the complete pantry reveal my pantry is finished and complete and organized including the new floor and everything put back in place minus the freezer and we are still going to build the couple of shelves there he's going to work on that in the next couple of weekends putting a couple more shelves in there and i have everything lined up and organized i got all of my canned goods on the top along there not all of them i still have three shelves full in the spare bedroom and i will refill these as we run out of this stuff I will refill those but I've got them all all the green beans all the corn all the pickled pickled stuff all the meats and broth and then I've got everything lined up oils vinegars other canned goods honey and uh, dehydrated stuff honey coffee tea like that so it's pretty much organized. I did get that medicine cleaned up. Now, I didn't like um, do any kind of inventory because the way I have organized it, I can walk right in here and see what I have. But minimalist can also include uh, this of straightening it up and organizing it so you know what you have so you don't go buy more. And that's the whole purpose. That was the main purpose of getting this straightened up. I needed it straightened up so I could see what I have and, and everything. But that also saves you money because you don't go buy more of something you already have. You just can't Thanks buy. Thanks for watching the Pantry Challenge. I thank Rachel at Spin Smart Live Happy for inviting me on this challenge. And um, so uh, show us what you've got and what your pantry looks like. Or leave us a comment and tell us any special tips that you have that you use in your pantry. And if you have a YouTube channel and you do the pantry challenge, let us know and we'll put you on the playlist. And uh, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe.